What would you do if I told you you were about to walk into a room with all of your biggest idols? Well, that's not so different from the experience that I just had. You see, about a month ago, I somehow got invited to go behind the scenes at Ludwig Streamer Games, and it was genuinely one of the coolest days of my life. Minus the fact that I literally burned my eyes from being in the sun all day. Yeah, that's... That's not a that's not a meme that I actually have that actually Ludwig burned my eyes. <laughs> so today I am going to tell you guys all about one of the best weekends of my life. Also, literally 98% of you guys are not subscribed. That's real. That's a, that's that, that's a lot of people, man. You should subscribe, dude. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it very much. That'd be very nice. You think you're Okay. Enjoy the video. Okay, bye. See you later. I survived a weekend with all the damn streamers, man, and it was crazy. There's just a bunch of shit that needs to be said. It's all the people I met, my experience overall, maybe some thoughts on which streamers I thought were cool. Maybe who are not. Oh, no, I'm not gonna get spicy. Dude, so first off, what is Ludwig Streamer Games? And why the fuck was I there? And why am I talking about it? So Ludwig Streamer Games is an event that is run, as you can tell by the name, by Ludwig. Wow. I'm a big Ludwig fan. He's like one of my biggest inspirations for content. I think he is cool shit, and I like to watch his shit, man. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, the general idea is that it is basically an Olympics. You can't say that. You can't say that fucking word or else we're gonna get immediately sued. That is like the Olympics. Don't say it anymore stop it fucking stop i'm gonna get sued for streamers man it's basically a big old track and field event for streamers man cool ass fucking event that is unlike anything that at the very least i've seen before and weeks leading up to it a few weeks ago jesse the man the youtuber i work for jess sir he just fucking saw me at my computer about to buy fucking tickets because the tickets just went on sale 30 minutes earlier at work Yes, I was buying tickets to a Ludwig event at work. Why are you surprised? This is the most, tr most Trebo thing that could possibly ever happen. He saw me going to buy tickets and he was like, Oh man, I'm going to be in that. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to be in it. That's, gonna, that's crazy. And then I was like... What? <laughs> and he was like, What? And, I, and then I was like, What? And then he was like, You want to come? And I was like, What? <laughs> and it was crazy. Anyway, so that's how I got invited to go to the streamer games. Crazy shit. The, the cool thing is this is really my first time getting to go to an event that is in this stratosphere. If that's anywhere near the right word to say. Obviously, I, I work in content. I consider myself an industry professional. I've worked at Bucket Squad for over two years now. I've worked in content professionally in YouTube for about four years now. So I've been around, man. Okay, I've been to some event events here and there. I'm not the most connected guy. I am a shy, awkward, uh, introverted man. So that that's, it doesn't go hand in hand but i've been to some events mainly the events that i'll go to are very attached to my work and the youtuber i work for i work for jesser so i go to jesser-esque things i sometimes get slide along and get to also have a cool time and vibe at certain things hello this is editing trevor so this guy fucked up and didn't finish his point so now i gotta do it for him the point that i'm trying to make is i don't normally go to streamer events just jesser-esque events and that's it okay yeah maybe say the thing correctly next time you little dingus mingus okay thank you bye back to it the streamer games ludwig streamer games so, it was a two-day event, and when I first showed up, I was incredibly fucking excited. <laughs> Uh, because, dude, I don't know, it's, like, I'm, this is going to be the place in this day and time exactly right now where I am fucking going, where all of the streamers that I watch on a regular basis are going to be there. That's crazy. That's crazy shit, man. Listen, I, I work in the industry, but I'm still a fan, man. I like this streamer shit. It's cool. I'm, a, I talk about it all the time. I love streamer shit. I like Ludwig shit. I like when he does cool shit like this. I've gone to so many Ludwig events. I was at, like, the, um, I was at chess boxing, the first one, four set, rip. Rest in peace. I was at Mogul Money Live. I like going to the shit. I like going to the shit as a fan. Like I said, I, before I was invited to go, I was literally buying tickets in the middle of being told I can just ride with Jesse. So anyway, rolling up to the event, I was pretty much just like, I was really giddy. I was just like, just like sitting in the car in the back seat, and I was just like, <laughs> just like excited to get there. When we rolled up in the Tesla, we we're just going in. We're going. We see the school. Well, the streamer games. Well, there's fucking Red Bull logos everywhere because it was most definitely a fucking Red Bull event. Let me tell you what, because I have a bunch of pictures. I'm gonna show, by the way, because when you first roll up to the school, you immediately see there's tents, there's tarps, so much shit. There's Red Bull cars. There are cars. Actually, can I? Do, is there a picture online of these things? Yeah, these ones. There were three of these things. Mini Coopers with giant ass red bulls on them <laughs> it's like a mini cooper pickup truck it was a fucking red bull event and you could not take a damn picture at that event without getting at least five fucking red bull logos there 
And that was, I don't know, that was pretty fucking cool, dude. Because Red Bull seems like a cool-ass company. We first roll in, and as we're going, I'm just, like, sitting there chilling, looking at, just, like, watching it, like, whoa, look, Red Bull is Ludwig event. And then all of a sudden, the car just, like, stops, and I'm like, what the fuck? And it goes, and we just, like, swing to the right, like, boom, up onto the sidewalk. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm looking at Jesse, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm looking outside of the car, and I see that there is a big sign that says, Talent Entrance. And so I assume, I immediately click in my head, oh, talent, okay, talent entrance, this is where we're supposed to be. Jesse clearly saw it and was like, okay, this is where we go. The problem was, <laughs> we're now on the sidewalk. There's a small driveway, but the driveway just goes to a regular door. A regular human-sized door, not a car-sized door, like a garage door of sorts. That very clearly, we were not going to be able to drive through. <laughs> and then I look at the distance, and like the two like front desk security people who are at the front of the event are literally just sitting there staring at us in the distance. Like, we're just sitting there in the car, and I'm like, um... And then the guys, the guys at the desk are just like... And just very clearly, the, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so that was fucking weird. Then we went over to the staff parking lot where they told us to go. Anyway, we roll in, we go in, it's cool. And then my first, like, holy fuck <laughs> moment happens. Because I can't stress to you enough, as soon as we got out of that car and we're walking into the streamer games, I was immediately very nervous. <laughs> The whole day leading up to it, I was really fucking excited. On the drive over, I was like giddy little kid in the car. I was like, Yee! and then we get there, and then immediately it's like, it's, I don't know, just like the fucking meme where everything like goes black and it's all like dark and despair. I was just like excited in the car, and then we like parked the car, and all of a sudden it's just like. Vroom, vroom. Oh, fuck, we're actually here. <laughs> but we walk into the event. Like I said, this whole time, I'm like, it, it's like excited, but really nervous. I'm still excited, but now I'm just very nervous about, because the fact, I just know what is about to happen is within the next five minutes, I'm about to walk into a room. Because we were late, by the way. We were literally late by like 30 minutes or so, 30, 40 minutes. And with the schedule, we walked in as they were apparently doing like the walkthrough tour for all of the talent. So we knew at that point, what we were going to do is walk in and there was going to be big fucking group of streamers all together doing the tour so i was getting fucking nervous and the first oh fuck moment happened when we rolled up to the front like i said before the front area we walked past the talent entrance now knowing that it is for humans and not for doors no now knowing that it is for humans and not for cars we walk in there's the front desk we just walk up like i said it's all three of us it's jesse gavin and i we're just rolling we're strolling up we're doing our thing i'm really nervous at this point i'm very and i already have adhd so i'm fucking hyper aware of what's going on i like see the thing i go the sign of the talent when i'm like talent partner okay i know i'm about to go there but first i'm just following jesse i'm just like following dad along <laughs> me and gavin behind him were like Yee. we're just like the two little kids just like <laughs> following him around into the event like i don't even really recognize the fact that like there is a woman kneeling down and like signing some paper like on a laptop doing a thing like some sort of registration thing on the talent side i like i don't even process it in my brain physically i see that there's someone there but i don't even process there's a person there and i don't process that could be someone until as we're walking up i'm looking at the partner thing and i'm like okay we're gonna have to go there and then i out of the corner of my eye I see that person turn around because she hears people behind her and then she goes hi jesser and then i like my heart sinks it goes like <laughs> and then i audibly go oh my god <laughs> out loud for everyone <laughs> to hear because i immediately recognize the person who just said hi jesser right in front of us is cutie cinderella who is one of my favorite streamers yeah, it's crazy she's like right there and like i wasn't fucking ready for it dude but i just like immediately she goes hi dresser and then my heart fucking sinks because i immediately as soon as she says something know that it's her voice and then i turn and i'm like well before i turn i literally i can't believe i can't believe i did it i literally can't believe it was my rea fucking reaction dude i don't know i i i absolutely instinctually i did not process that i was saying words i just heard cutie's voice and immediately went oh my god <laughs> which i hope she didn't hear i don't know if she heard unfortunately i didn't get to talk to cutie i didn't get an interaction with her for the rest of the event so sadly this was technically our only interaction i didn't talk to her i just said oh my god in her presence <laughs> which is a uh, interesting interaction <laughs> So she goes in and we get our like we get all our stuff sorted 
We got our badges, we fucking walked in, and immediately, it is this huge, there's there's no streamers there, there's no creators. Basically, like, the entrance area, after you get in, like, through the, the front area, you walk into, like, a basketball gym. It is very clearly, like, the basketball gym, where, it, this is a high school again. You walk into the basketball gym, which is very clearly a high school basketball gym. Inside is like this is the hub of the entire event like i said before this is where all the content creators go this is like the, where they get to chill they get to put all their shit down there's a bathroom in there i'm just recognizing my sunburn yeah i got burned actually my the back of my neck is the worst burn i don't know if you can yep you can definitely see it <laughs> yeah, it's fine man i'm sure i'll be fucking okay the skin cancer is years down the line so um, at least for now i'll be fine <laughs> Yeah, so in this area is like the place where all the streamers can go and just chill. It's also the hub where like the entire event is being run. And then it's time for us to walk out to the field. Because, like I said before, they have already started the like tour for all of the talent, for all of the, the creators and everything. And so now it becomes time to go to all of the streamers. And when we walk out the end of that gym, in the distance... You see the field. The closest side of us to the field is a whole bunch of people just sitting on the turf. Literally like a track and field event. If anyone's ever seen a track and field event, I see that there's a circle there. And immediately, dude, fucking immediately, I see that there's a bunch of people standing on like the outside, just like chilling there. And there's two people in the front. Actually, four people in the front. Two people in ref jerseys. One dude in regular clothes. And then another dude who immediately... I'm a little embarrassed to say because it was so fucking far away. I could barely fucking tell. I was like... That is Ludwig. <laughs> From literally like a whole, I don't even know, like two football fields away, because we still had to walk all the way over. My brain immediately knew, looked at a silhouette of a person that were there, and was like, that's Ludwig. <laughs> so I'm not very proud of that. That shows my um, huge fucking brain rot that I've gone through over these years, of consuming way too much of this guy's content and all the content the streamers face. But I'm being real about it. Then we start fucking walking up. And now is when my heart really fucking drops. Because now every step that we take closer and closer to the field, it's just becoming clearer and clearer. All of the fucking streamers that are sitting there. Like, we get closer and closer, and it's like, oh my god, that's fuck, that's QE Cinderella, I just saw her. Holy shit, that's Ludwig in the front. We just keep walking closer and closer. Oh my god, that's Lily Pichu and fucking Michael Reeves. And just so, they're all there. Everyone's just fuck, dude, like, Odd One's Out is there. And then Jesse just, like, rolls in. <laughs> Because, again, we were, like, pretty late. And then Gavin and I just, like, awkwardly go to the side and, like, stand next to it. Because <laughs> there's, like, a half dome of people who are, like, clearly the, everyone's, like, plus ones. We're just standing there. And I'm just, like, sitting there. And now it just becomes sit and watch for ten minutes as, like, Ludwig is I explaining and briefing all the, all the rest of the streamers that I watched. All the shit. And I'm just sitting there. The, like, it's in my entire view, is just, like, most of the streamers that I watch on a regular basis. Just right there. I was, like what the fuck is happening <laughs> so that was the big moment of like holy fuck here they are and now here's me being tossed into all of it and then eventually we break off they're just like okay everyone can go chill do your thing now all of the streamers get up and disperse and they start walking out and they start walking away so now it's just like a world of all of the streamers and creators and now i am literally just a fly on the wall just in the middle of all of that so it was very weird very surreal and very crazy but in the midst of all of that jesse goes over and he's like talking to his team he's with 100 thieves he's talking to other creators he's very clearly like busy gavin and i are just sitting there we're both very clearly two introverted people but we're just sitting there like doing our thing and we're like what the fuck and we're just like being there together we're both being like what the fuck like together <laughs> and so while we were sitting there we were like oh shit we need the sunscreen let's go get the sunscreen our plan was to walk back to the parking lot and go get the sunscreen because we needed to fucking get that because jesse needs it and we need it because we're gonna be in the fucking sun all day we realize that we have to go to jesse's car and we realize that we're gonna have to get inside of jesse's car but we look over and jesse's sitting there talking to like vinnie hacker and nice wig and valkyrie and we're like okay well we can't bother that conversation. Okay, well, how the fuck are we going to get in his car? And Gavin's like, wait, I have his wallet. <laughs> Pulls his wallet out. And I'm like, first off, I'm like, why the fuck do you have his wallet? Where the fuck did that come from? That's weird. But then secondly, I'm like, okay, fuck it. Whatever, let's do this. <laughs> we So we go to the car uh, and we have a fucking problem. And we get to the car, which is we can't open the damn car, man. Gavin is 
taking the Tesla card out of the wallet, trying to open the car, and it's not fucking working. Car ain't opening. What the fuck? What's going on here? We gotta get in the car. Later, we end up finding out that Jesse actually had his girlfriend Tesla card in his wallet, which is why we were he was using the wrong one. <laughs> but we couldn't get in the fucking car. We were just fucking dicking around around Jesse's car uh, for like five minutes, <laughs> just trying to get into it, and it's not fucking working. Both of us are sitting there. We're like looking up a video on how to get into a Tesla. <laughs> And then we turn, so we're like, well, fuck, okay, we have to go inside. We're just gonna have to get Jesse's phone from him. We turn back to go inside. We're like, alright, shit, fine, time to go, time to go. We're walking. We're walking back the same way that we walked in before to get in. And in the distance, walking in our direction, on the sidewalk, outside of the entire event, literally just on the public fucking sidewalk walking way, the way that we are currently beelining it for to go through, I see, once again, deep in the distance, there's a man in a gray shirt walking towards us. And I again know instantly that it is Ludwig. <laughs> that it is fucking Ludwig. And I audibly say to Gavin, I literally I literally go like this, like we're just, we're just like walking and I see him and I'm like, oh my God, that's Ludwig. <laughs> And I just fucking looked down because in that moment I realized that oh fuck it it's time. Now is the moment for me to fucking meet Lud, dude. And I'm not ready. I'm not mentally ready. I, mean, I don't think I was ever going to be fucking ready, man. I, I, I Listen, call it cringe, call it weird, whatever you want, man. Listen, this guy's one of my biggest inspirations, dude. I watch so much of his fucking content, and he literally has inspired me to do so much content shit. And it's cool. I don't know. So it's cool. He's, he's like a fucking idol to me. It's cool, man. Anyway, uh, and I'm like, oh my god. This is the fucking... Mo oh my god, it's, it's gonna happen. It's happening right now. It's fucking happening. I can't stop it. It's happening. And now I'm like sitting there, and I'm just like looking down and it doesn't help that like gavin basically does the same thing after i say oh my god that's ludwig he like looks and he's like oh my god it is. he's like no way and so we're both like oh, freaking the fuck out and in that moment that is the biggest time that my heart fucking <laughs> sank and so i'm thinking like what the fuck do i do i don't know what the fuck i'm not ready for this i didn't think about this i wasn't ready for this fucking situation and we're walking up and it's easy, like now now at this point we cross into the sidewalk and now we're just like time is like in fucking slow motion it's like We're getting fucking closer and closer to time. I don't know what I'm going to fucking say. I'm trying to think of what to fucking say. And what ends up happening, I, I can tell that he is like on some sort of phone call. I don't know if he's figuring something out, if he's going to his car. I don't know what. I just know that he's on a phone call and he's walking our direction towards the parking lot. So I'm like, okay, well then what I'm not going to do is just like stop him and try and have a whole conversation because he's on a phone call. He's busy. But I also like, I got to have, it's Ludwig, man. I have to have, I, I, I don't know. I got to like say something. I can't not say nothing. I don't want to be that guy. And so... What happens is we're walking together, and eventually, at one point in my head, I just, like, I just, like, eventually I'm just like, oh, okay, it's time to do it. And I just look up at him, and at that point forward, I'm, I'm like, locked in. I'm going to do the thing, and probably pretty awkwardly. <laughs> I was just ready for eye contact, and I'm just like, I'm not going to break on eye contact, we're going to have an interaction, I'm going to keep moving. The problem was, <laughs> I did that moment way too fucking early, so I just like, looked and was looking at him and waiting for him to look at me, and then he did, he fucking like, vroom, and we locked eyes from like, pretty fucking far away, dude. <laughs> like, he was another like... Like, like 20 steps ahead. It wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, as soon as like we got close to each other, then I was like, oh, hey, what's up? It was like, I was like just looking at him. <laughs> and then he eventually locked eyes and saw me. And we just locked eyes. <laughs> This is so fucking cringe. For like a few seconds, cause he, I don't know. He, he, he also didn't look away. We locked eyes and now we're just walking and staring at each other. And I'm like, okay, well fuck, here we go. And we, we, we get up to each other and eventually I'm like, and then we fucking get up to each other. And I don't even, I think I said something to the effect of like, like, hey man, I was just like, well, well actually that's the part, part that I forgot about. While we were like awkwardly looking at each other and walking in the same direction, I, I literally just said like, hey man. <laughs> Like, before we were, like, in distance of, like, meeting each other, when we were just, like... Because, I don't know, we were staring at each other. He wasn't looking away, I wasn't looking away, so I was like, well, someone's gotta say something. And so I was just like, hey, man. <laughs> and he didn't he didn't respond to that. Again, he's on a phone call, so I'm assuming he's listening to something. But then when we get up to each other, I just, like, I don't know. I probably had the fucking biggest smile. I, I wish someone could have, like, secretly recorded me in that moment to see, I don't know, just how I looked. Because I probably looked so, like, just so unbelievably excited at that moment. Um, anyway, and then I remember, we, I gave him a fist bump. And I was like, dude, I love your shit. Keep doing cool shit. Or like something like that. Some, I don't know, something to that effect. I don't know if it was more cringe or less. Something like that. It probably was more cringe. Based on the the being that I was at that point, it probably was. And gave him the fist bump. It was like, boom. And then he just does the classic. Like, oh, I appreciate it, man. And just keeps walking by. And then I was like, the smallest little interaction ever. But then I was just like walking by past afterwards. And I'm like, 
Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It just happened! What the fuck? And and yeah, and I was, and I, I debriefed with Gavin, and I was like, Gavin, tell me how cringe was that? <laughs> or, or not how cringe was it? I, I asked him like, All right, on a scale of one to ten, how bad was that? Like that that interaction, like was it bad? Was it pretty cringe? And he was like, Oh, it was like a six out of ten. I was like, Okay, and th I described it as okay. I I I've, it felt like a six out of ten. <laughs> so six out of ten's fine. That's, I'll take it. To be honest, he probably could have seen how fucking nervous and anxious I was and bumped that up by a couple numbers. It might have been a four and it might have been cringe as fuck. So that's how I, for the first time ever, fucking let met Ludwig and that shit was crazy. And now it's time the streamer games begin. Where were we when they actually started? We're right fucking there, baby. <laughs> that is your boy at the fucking front. Um, straight off. Look at me right here, and then I'm also right there on the screen. Wow. Anyway, and for the most part, this is where we were for like the first third of the first day. And then Jesse told us, he was like, yo, where are you guys? He like texted us, and then we were like, oh, we texted what? And then he was basically like, bro, come down here. He was like, he was wondering where we were, because he was like, dude, where the fuck are you guys? You guys can be on the field. <laughs> and we were like, what? We are like, what? What do you mean? So our, our badges let us like, over to the left is like concession stand and all this stuff. For, with all the fans and everything. And there's a sideway that you can walk to get to the back. A track has an entire walk around it. That area, you just walk across the track and it gets you to like the behind the scenes ex exclusive area. For like I said, where all that the basketball is with all the tech stuff and everything. So we were walking back and forth between the fan section and over there. And every time we would walk by, there's just multiple open gates to go onto the field. They're just sitting there, literally tempting us. We like cross by those gates like three different times. And every time we were like, oh, should we go? Should we go in the gate? No, 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 no. Because I was like, I don't know. I don't want to be the guy, the one, the fucking guy at the Ludwig Streamer Games who went to walk on the field and then some security guard sprints over and is like, hey, hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Well, your badge doesn't say you can, what the fuck? I didn't want to make a scene at the Streamer Games and then have to walk back to the fan area. All the fans saw me get screamed at. Like, that's my absolute fucking nightmare. But then Jesse was just like, dude, come down. And then we just like very giddily just like, Ey! like walked onto the field walked through the gate and we're just walking and the moment we walked on the field i was like oh i was so on edge but we walked onto the field and then we were just fucking there we were just on the field now and i have some pictures from on the field basically there was like this yeah so this is <laughs> a little cringe <laughs> this was a little cringe but i took a fucking picture <laughs> as i was walking look it's me it's me on the field of the streamer games first off let me say i was a little fucking pissed because i took a shower and that's it <laughs> no i was pissed because I, I i have a shower cycle my shower cycle is i don't shower every day i don't shower every day because of my hair but i fucking hate sweating unless i'm in a sweat territory for instance if i'm playing basketball if i'm in the gym if i'm doing physical activity where i know that sweating is a part of it i don't have a problem with sweating when i have a problem with sweating is when i fucking sweat in times that are not those physical activities i hate that shit it makes me feel icky i don't enjoy it it's, yeah so i normally shower every two days because the second day is the better day the other reason is my hair because this <laughs> this is what my hair looks like the day that I fucking shower. Because what I do is I don't put product in my hair. So this is what I fucking look like, which I was pissed because I didn't know it looked this bad. So it was really fucking windy. Again, this is an entire outside event. Like nothing happens indoors. So that was fucking fortunate. I was sad about that. And I immediately took this picture and was like, oh my God. And then I'm like, fucking, because this is also, bear in mind, as I'm walking up, that's literally fucking Michael Reeves. <laughs> I'm literally fucking walking up to see all these fucking streamers out on the field, and my hair looks like fucking shit, so I had to, just, I had to do the fucking, like, the Spongebob thing, I had to <laughs> like, trying to fix it. And now, we're just fucking up here, bro. I am sitting up here with all these streamers! <laughs> This is crazy! Now it's at the point, it's not like earlier where like they were doing the tour where I'm very much like on the side. It's like, this is exclusive. I, I'm here. Look, you could, this is basically everyone who's in this middle fucking area of the whole thing. Which by the way, in the distance, there's all the fans and then here's all the creators. We're sitting right uh, behind Lily Pichu, City on. There's Cutie Cinderella, Jason Ween's right there. Shit's crazy, man. Again, I don't just work in the industry. I'm a fucking fan, man. I like this shit. It's fun as fuck. So like, I'm a fan who works in the industry and it's just crazy because I'll just get to fucking meet people and it's like, dude, what the fuck is happening? And yeah, and then I proceed to like, I'm just there on the field for like the rest of the time. I think I have a video here. Look, there's me. Red Bull, wow. They're doing shit over there and I'm just chilling here. Look, it's me. <laughs> And there's my dumbass face. I got a picture from one of my coworkers that was like spotted. Hey, it's me in my yard shirt. Wow, well, I'm just there on the stream. Wow, well, that's crazy. Oh, the dad stance? Don't. Am I, is it a dad stance? Surely it's not that bad, man. Is it? Okay. 
shut up, shut up. Okay, now we can start to get into some of the interactions I had. So, which by the way, every interaction I had was pretty fucking cool, all right? Everyone's, everyone was pretty chill. One of the fucking craziest moments was when there were like some basketball, there, there, there were some basketball hoops. A bunch of people were shooting around, and the first day there was only one basketball, and I had the basketball, and I like basketball. So I decided to grab the basketball, and I was just like chilling, holding it. I don't know, I don't know why, I was just kind of messing with it. I was just doing my fucking ADHD things, doing whatever the fuck with it. Uh, we walked over the field, we were watching them like film some sort of short things. All of a sudden, out of my peripheral vision, it's just like... And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and it's Ted Nivison. Ted walks up. Ted's cool as fuck. He's the exact same uh, off camera as he was on camera, which he's just like that, like, you know? <laughs> For those who don't know, it's a known thing online that Ted is a tall guy. You couldn't tell by looking at the picture. If I look at the picture, I would be like, yeah, I don't know, six foot, five eleven, you know, just one of those guys. The dude is fucking huge. No joke, he's literally six five. And actually, we fucking filmed a short for the Jester channel, going around and seeing everyone's heights. He thought he was six four, and he's fucking six five. What's Ted? How tall are you? Six four. Six. Five. Oh, I'm 6'5"? Yeah. He's taller than he thought he was. Fucking giant. So then you start to get the idea of in my peripheral vision, just... And I'm like, Whoa. And he comes up and he's like, him and his... If you've ever seen a Ted video, him and his goofy voice. He's just like, can I have the basketball? And I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, sure. And he's like, thank you. And then he just walks away. <laughs> so that was a really funny interaction. It was terrifying for exactly one second. But then... He shows goofy teddy bear heart voice. Oh, the giant is actually sweet, man. Whoa, what a plot twist. Anyway, uh, I had some interactions with Cinna the first day. She was also really cool and what the fuck? Who is this? Cinna was there. She's really fucking cool also. She also had the same vibe of same off stream as on stream. And like, actually it was the first time we said anything to each other. She was just walking by and like, we just happened to like look at each other for a second. And she was like, what's up? And went out for a high five and I high fived her. I was like, oh, that was cool. What the heck? Anyway, pretty bubbly. Down to have a conversation. Oh, speaking of bubbly, dude, by far, which if you know the streaming sphere is not a surprise at all. Extra Emily is literally the exact same person off camera as she is on camera. For those who don't know, she is like the bubbly girl online. Always like, oh, hi, it's good. Yeah. You know, always in the best vibes, that super wholesome, sweet person at all times on stream. And it's the exact same off camera. She's another person where it's like, that's really fucking cool. That very clearly a cool ass person is, uh, you know, streaming is, is growing another cool ass person. Oh, and then dude, I had a small interaction from with slime from the yard. <laughs> This was an interesting one. I am a big fan of the Yard podcast. Slime is one fourth of the members of the Yard podcast. He's been around the melee scene a bunch. He's been around Ludwig content for fucking ever. I'm a fan of, I, I listen, he's a fucking funny guy. He's the funniest guy on the fucking Yard. I enjoy him a lot. I'm a fan, but he is not someone that comes off as easily approachable for fans. I was like, I want to try and get a slime interaction, but I am scared to do so <laughs> because of knowing this pre-context. And I had told myself that I was just like, when I get, if I get an opportunity to talk to slime, I'm just going to have a small little moment. Cause again, he got shit to do, man. He's literally working while this shit was happening. But <laughs> what happened? I don't know why. I don't know why I came up with this idea. He was refing the event. So he had the ref jersey on and everything. So I just like, for some reason the idea in my head was i was just like easy interaction i'm just gonna when i walk by him one day say one time say good call ref and stick my hand out for just a, a clap a hand hit it's not a dap up what even is that not a handshake literally just when you go like you walk past each other and you just go you know <laughs> one of those simple i was just gonna say a sentence to the guy give up slap and then move on. I should have expected that it would not go as easy as that, because what happened is eventually the second day, in the middle of while Game of Bull was happening, which was the horse game, playing horse, the basketball game that again, Jesse was part of. Eventually the moment comes clearly where he is, he was walking away from the basketball. He is not interacting with anyone. He is directly walking in my direction. So I'm like, all right, shit, I know what to do. Time to fucking send it. And I walk up or like, I, I, I you know, and I like position myself. I start, I like walk a couple steps towards him, showing that I, like I'm walking towards him. And he, he, I don't think he saw that I was like there. <laughs> and I go in for the interaction and I go, I go, good call ref. And I hold my hand out for the high five. And then he just like stops, realizes I'm there. He's wearing glasses, so of course he's like more fucking intimidating. I go, good call, ref. And he just like stops and sees I'm there. And he just fully like stops. And he, <laughs> he like looks me up and down, like analyzes me and just says, what? 
He's like gauging me as a person in that moment. That's how it felt. So like I've said this thing. I've said the thing and he didn't he doesn't say a word to me. He literally like inspects me, scans me, and then he just says like, "What?" <laughs> and then I just repeat it. I'm like, "You know, this is a good call, ref." <laughs> just continuing it. I'm like, "Oh god, please." <laughs> please and i'm like at, i'm at the mercy of him for my fucking awkwardness to get through this fucking situation then instead he, he doesn't go for the high five instead he puts his hand out for a handshake and then i go like oh okay and then i handshake and i shake his hand i say like yeah keep doing you or something i don't know something like that yeah, i don't know as he's walking away he's like hey you know me and then i just laugh i just laugh and i say like yes sir <laughs> so it was a very interesting interaction which to be honest i should have been ready for when i interacted with slime it could have gone worse i'm gonna go ahead and accept that he thought i was at least chill enough to not make a whole thing out of it and to just give me my handshake and then moved on that pretty much caps off Trebo's experience of the Ludwig streamer games, man. It was cool as fuck. It was a sick-ass event. I was like a giddy fucking child in a candy shop there, dude. Got to meet to and talk to a bunch of people. Some people I didn't get to. I even got to have a small interaction with Ludwig. No matter how awkward it was and off brand know how to make cool shit and they got me hooked i'm, I'm coming to all of them man hopefully i'll get to go to more behind the scenes but if not i'll be there as a fan because i like this shit